want to talk about some extreme weather hitting us here at home. What could become the first tropical storm of the season is brewing. Look at it churning off the coast of Florida this morning. And it's set to make for a very wet and miserable holiday for tens of millions along the East Coast. It couldn't come at a worse time. Don't kill the messenger, okay? That's just a message to you at home. We want you to be prepared. You're standing in the midst of it there, our Indra Petersons. How bad is this going to get? This is not a good thing, especially when you talk about so many people that are trying to get out of town for the holiday. Take a look what is now right over the Grand Bahamas. This is an 18-hour loop, but what we know now is a tropical depression likely to be a tropical storm very soon. Let's take a look at the stats, guys. Right now, it winds about 35 miles per hour, moving slowly west about 2 miles per hour, but we know it is not going to be staying that way. Let's talk about the stats. Tropical storm expected to be by today. It is strengthening. Then, by tomorrow, looking at it off the coast, of Florida, then in through the Carolinas. So by Thursday or so, if you're in the Carolinas, look for that heavy rain. And then by the 4th of July, it is expected now the latest model to strengthen it to a Category 1 hurricane right off the coast of D.C., but then quickly making its way offshore, really affecting the entire Northeast. But by Saturday and Sunday, most of you should be seeing that sunshine behind the system. And you know what? This isn't just a random guess anymore. Look at all of the models. They're really all in alignment, taking on this exact same path, some of them a little bit shorter or farther as far as timing. But either way, this definitely looks like a huge rainmaker here over the next 24, 48 hours. Look at this right around Florida already for tomorrow. This is where you're going to see the heaviest rain, helping you plan your trip. By the time you get in through Thursday, right around the Carolinas, that's when you're getting the biggest impact here. But then Thursday night in through Friday, it's expected to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane right off the coast of D.C. That's the concern. Definitely a lot of travel plans are going to be affected. But again, it does move offshore for the rest of the weekend. So we are going to spare you a little bit of that three-day weekend, guys.